Hey, what is up my beautiful people? So today we're going to be looking at some Reddit posts. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Pokemon TCG subreddit and we're going to be seeing some of the top posts of this past year, this past 2023. And they're, they're posts that I found kind of interesting, you know, like, um, what's up, man? You know, they kind of stood out to me and recently Reddit has been recommending Pokemon TCG to me, Pokemon cards, because I've been, you know, talking about Pokemon cards. I personally don't really collect Pokemon cards. I do have a small binder of cards, but you know, I'm not really a big collector but still nonetheless i found these posts interesting and i just kind of wanted to share with you guys so what do you say man let's get started all right so you all know me i ain't about that clickbait life we're gonna start with the thumbnail the one i have posted on the thumbnail and it is a post i'm not gonna say who it is but it's a post where someone posted on reddit and pretty much they posted saying i wasn't a believer in car pulls but now i am what a hit description I hit this bad boy today going straight to my master set very excited might open some more in the car later we'll see so pretty much at first hand it looks like an innocent post and this guy, you know, he bought some cards at a store. He opened them in his car and he put a hit and he's just showing his good luck to everybody. So at first glance, you know, this image doesn't look that bad. But then once you kind of start to look at it a little bit longer, you start to notice the background and you're kind of like, okay, what's going on here, man? Like this guy looks like he bought hundreds of packs and just threw them on the floor. And then you start to look at it a little bit more. And you're like, wait, this guy has like trash on top of his packs. And then you start to see, wait, his packs are covering like his, his gas pedal, his brakes. And then you start to think like, okay, this guy guy he looks like a dirty boy man like he looks like he does not clean up after himself and he looks like he just opens up a bunch of card packs and if he gets something that he doesn't want he just throws it on the floor doesn't throw it away he just throws all the cards on the floor and lets it pile up and doesn't even clean up after himself so they started to think like okay what's going on here is this post for real or is this post fake and the thing is just from looking at it i have no idea man i have no idea if this is a real picture or it's a fake picture because some people you know they do set up like fake stuff you know like they'll throw a bunch of trash on their car take a picture just to get likes, to get people talking, to get people commenting. Oh, people are always chasing that clout, right? So they post these type of pictures that are kind of like semi-triggering, where it's like, man, this freaking picture, man, there's something not right. So you then comment saying like, dude, what's up with your car, you know? And all along, you know, this guy's a genius, you know, coming up with like these genius posts where they become popular, get all these likes. He has like 5,000 likes and, you know, it just gets popular. And the thing is, this guy, like people ask him, like, you know, people do in the comment sections do ask him like, yo, what's going on with your car? You know, why is your car like that? And people are saying like, yo, clean your car, you know, just a bunch of comments like that. This guy does not reply to any of them no response nothing and there's like 600 comments on this post you know he doesn't reply to any of them so i have no idea if this is fake or real but i am gonna lean towards it being real just because i don't think anybody's gonna dedicate like those many cards those many card packs and that many trash just to throw in the car and yeah the top comment of that post is i think there is a car in your packs all right so the next one the next one's pretty simple it's just a post where somebody posted a um, what it looks like their kitchen or living room and they posted like a table full of card packs and card boxes saying and annual rip with the cousins so pretty much this guy and his cousins get together for the year and they buy all these packs and all these boxes of pokemon cards to open up together at the end of the year or whatever and man that is a lot of product man just seeing that that that's a lot of money going around right there kind of makes me wonder like how many cousins this guy has because if it's just him and like two other cousins i mean it looks like they probably spent like a good thousand dollars each just on pokemon but i mean just seeing this it looks pretty cool man it looks kind of it's kind of impressive like imagine walking into that and being like yo this is all yours for you to open you'll be a pretty happy camper wouldn't you so yeah i mean i like seeing this kind of stuff just because um seeing this much product together it looks really cool it looks like it should be at a store right the top comment of this post is how do you have self-control for that and how do you decide who gets what yeah so pretty much how the hell do you hold onto that much product and not open it and wait until the end of the year to open it i mean i guess it does take some you know like you gotta hold yourself back especially if you really love opening up pokemon cards all right so the next one the next one is a little bit triggering probably to like uh pokemon card fans dude look at here I love this little guy, man. He's just chilling right behind me, being all sad, wanting to be cuddled, right? So what's up to the people? It's, 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 he has a little tie going on. Right, dude, just chill right there. We'll get back to you. All right, so the next post, um, somebody posted, FedEx driver threw the package into my yard while I was at school and the animals got a hold of it. So uh, a search of smear gold sleeves and promos I fucking guess. So pretty much in this post, you know, FedEx driver, a tail as old as time, threw a package into their yard. It ruined the package. And I guess their dogs or their chickens, I don't know what man, the raccoons, opened up the package and spread it all over, damaged the cards. And normally this post wouldn't hurt that much because it is just a bunch of Pokemon sleeves. You could easily replace that. But this guy in his 
package had the Pikachu Van Gogh promo. And if you guys know, the Van Gogh promo was very controversial. Everybody and their mom wanted that card and people were paying like $100, $150 plus when it first got released. Right now, I think it's worth about $100. Even though this card is not even like half a year old, people are already paying $100. So anyway, this guy bought a bunch of them or he probably got a bunch of them for free. I don't know. But anyway, he had a bunch of them and they all got ruined in this package when, when the FedEx driver dropped off this package and the chickens or whatever got into it and ruined all the cards, which hurts, man. It sucks because those promos are very sought after. A, a lot of people want them. I mean, personally, I would probably pick one up for myself, but right now it's too expensive. So yeah, kind of sucks for that guy. But I mean, what can you do, right? Except call up FedEx or whatever. All right, the next post, I personally also love this post because it's just, it's kind of cheesy. Dude put up two locals with this setup and proceeded to stop me. So at first glance, you look at this and you're kind of like, what's the big deal from this post? You know, I don't see anything, anything interesting. So I don't know much about that playmat he's using. Like it's probably like a basic playmat. I don't know, don't really care. So what's really cool about this is that V-Star card that he has in the PSA holder. Now the V-Star card, everybody knows that the V-Star card is not worth anything. It's worth, it's trash. It's like an energy card. Like when you pull one, it's like whatever, man, throw it away. You don't need it. Give it to some kids, burn it up, write your name on it. Who cares? It's just a V-Star card, you know? It's like the equivalent, it's the equivalent of what, 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 like, uh, it's probably like the equivalent of toilet paper, you know? That's how much it's worth. Like one sheet of toilet paper in a V-Star card are probably worth roughly the same, aka nothing. So what's so cool about this post is this guy, he took his V-Star card, which is worth nothing, and he sent it off to PSA. He paid a professional grading company to grade his V-Star card, and he paid them to put it in a slab, grade it, he got it back, and after he got it back, he went to tournaments or whatever, this match, he went to like these card matches, and he used it in an actual card match, an actual card battle or whatever. It's just like a flex pose. Like This guy's just, just flexing like, yo, I can afford the money to, to get these trash cards graded, and instead of putting it in my collection, I'm gonna use it against you in a card battle. And what are you gonna do about it? It's a humble flex. Like, you can't even hate on the guy. Like, that's pretty cool, man. It's like grading energy cards and then using energy cards in a battle. I mean, which, which you can't do because you need the energy cards in your card deck. And obviously you can't put a freaking slab in your card deck. But a V-Star card though, you could put that bad boy in a slab and have it right there on the table, just throwing it off. Whatever, man, you get all the ladies. Not really. <laughs> So the last post I'm gonna share with you guys, and again, let me know if you guys are enjoying this. If you're not enjoying it, you know, drop a dislike. I don't mind, but if you are, let me know, and I'll make more videos like this. So this last post is our friend from the first post, the one with the car, with the dirty car. He comes back for a sequel. So like a month or two later, he comes back and he posts another post on the Pokemon TCD subreddit, saying a little rep session before bed leads to good dreams and good pose. And after looking at this, you're kind of like, dude, I'm not even looking at the card at this point. Who cares about the card? I'm looking at your room. I'm looking at your bed, like, dude bro what's going on with your bed why is there so many pokemon cards on your bed man what is going on and then you look on his floor and you're like what's up with all those drinks on the floor what's with that trash your bed pillows are yellow this cars all over your blanket there's card packs on the floor trash bro what's going on in your life man is this just another fake post or is this a real post showing us a glimpse into your life because this is pretty bad man so anyway um this description a string of bad luck bad pose but tonight that all changed before i went to bed I'm gonna continue bed rip sesh if i keep hitting like this let's go so yeah i mean that's the post man and the top comment on this photo sums up the post perfectly. This photo stresses me out. Same bro, same, it stresses me out too, man. <laughs> Homeboy, Homeboy's gonna clean up his room, man. He's gonna clean up his car. I kinda wonder what the rest of his house looks like. Honestly, I'd be down to see like his house tour. Maybe there's like Pokemon cards everywhere. Pokemon cards in his toilet, in his bathroom. Who freaking knows, man, his kitchen, his fridge. We don't know, man. But honestly, I don't know if this guy's trolling or if he's being for real, cause I mean, that's, that's pretty interesting. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video. You know, let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. Drop a like, drop a comment if you didn't like the video of course drop a dislike i don't mind man it's whatever i just wanted to bond with you guys for a bit and yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next one all right peace out